Hi y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'm going to make you all some good old uh, bean soup. I'll be making navy bean soup and here's the thing I'll be using. It doesn't take much for a navy bean soup. I got, and I, I'm going to tell you something, I do not soak my beans. I never soak them. They, when you soak them to me, and you take something out of them. I just like, I just take and cook them. It takes about two, for navy beans, it takes about two to three hours. I just let them cook because it takes a long time, but you're going to get the best flavor. So I'll be using these navy beans. I'll be using some stick and chicken stock, some bay leaf, probably some uh, liquid smoke, maybe, some base, basil, salt and pepper, and also I'll be using uh, this ham. I'll be using it's a uh, uh, smoked, well, smoked pork slice uh, ham picnic. And I'll be using this. I'll cut this up or some of it. And I'm going to fry it first and get some of this fat off of it. But when you're cooking, uh, making soup, it always calls for beans and pork, some type of meat. And here's my fresh vegetable. I'll be using a, a pepper, jalapeno pepper, some garlic carrots, celery, shallot, a yellow onion, and a white onion, uh, most likely. And with, I'll get back with you all when I start the procedure. Most of my uh, 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 viewers, they not listen when I say I don't rinse, I don't soak my beans because that's the first thing I always say. And they'll still ask me the question. So now I wash the beans and I pick the bad ones out. So I'm going to get ready to pour them in this pot. And you can tell by the sound that they weren't soaked. And sometimes, you know, you pick the bad one off if you see it. What I'm going to do is start my beans before I do anything. I'm going to set them over here on this pot. And what I use, you can use, this This is about four cups of, of a, a stock. You can be chicken stock or chicken broth. I chose chicken stock. So I'm going to pour all of this in here, this container in here. And I'm going to let them start cooking. Then I'm going to take my vegetables and put them in, put in here. Cut my vegetable up after this start cooking. Because it's going to take these beans, they're going to take them a long time to cook. They're going to take, like I said, about two to three hours. And I want to let them, let them cook, do their thing, and be patient. So I can make some good old bean soup, old-fashioned bean soup. So I'm going to let these cook, and I'm going to cut them vegetables and put them in it. And once it starts boiling, I'm going to get back, which I want these to the cover, and I want them to get a good uh, boil. And then uh, if, and if you want to, you can add a little water because the broth and that stock is a little salt, and you're going to eliminate some of your salt. You're going to taste as you add salt. So I'm going to get back with you once it starts boiling. Okay, my beans been cooking about 15 minutes. I just wanted to get them a good start. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with my pepper. I'm gonna put, sprinkle some pepper across of it. They'll be seasoned two to three times as they cook. Cause like I said, it's gonna take these about a good two to three hours to cook. Pinto beans, you know, take at least uh, four hours. And these are navy beans, they have a little less time. And like I said, when you're making soup, you're gonna, and one thing about navy bean, they make the best soup. That's salt, I don't know how much salt I put in there, but it won't be much. And here's some uh, basil, put a little bit in here just for taste, just a little bit, taste. And I'll put a bay leaf in here. And here's my uh, fresh uh, vegetable. Here's an onion, this is a, a onion. I have a carrot, I have celery, I have a shallot, and I have fresh garlic and some jalapeno pepper, and I cut them off. I chop them, you can chop them how you want to, because like I said, they'll be cooking. I'm gonna let them put in here and let them cook. And, and these uh, beans, this is season. Like I said, I'll be adding these, uh, these vegetables two or three times as they cook, so it can season them good. I'm gonna put my two garlics in here, and I will be putting a, a seat to stir this up good. And let it start cooking. I'll be putting some more broth in here, some more liquid. And I'm going to let these cook. This is going to be so good because these are old-fashioned. Let them cook. Uh, some more stock in here. Pour it to the side. Pour some in here so it can cover it. All I want to do is get a good covering. Okay. 
Okay, and these are a lot of beans. I can fr freeze some of these. These are a lot of beans I'm cooking. Okay, I'm going to let these cook, and I'm going to get back. I'm going to cover them. Make sure you cover them, and let them cook. I'll get back with you in about two hours. Okay, here's the ham that I'll be using. It's just wrap the ham. I just want a little ham in my... So this, this was a picnic shoulder, and I'm going to let, let mine be fried a little bit on each side, and then I'm going to chop it up. I want to get a little bit of fat off. Some of it. Like I said, you don't know. I'm going to chop it up. I got a lot of it. So I'll probably find it. And once it's fine, I'm going to chop it up in this square. And my beans is over here cooking. Over here, side they cooking. They're doing pretty good. They probably got about two more good hours to cook. I'm going to let this fry on each side, get a that little taco uh, look. So when I put them in my hand, it'll look good. There's a lot of fat that comes with this. And, you know, like I said, when you buy stuff, it looks so good, but that's why I'm trying to get some of it off. And soup, you don't want that much meat in, so this probably be enough once I turn the fat off. It'll be enough in my soup. Okay, I'm going to let this cook. Take it out, and then I'm going to cut it into squares. Get back with you all. Okay, my beans are done. I taste them. I need to put a little bit more seasoning, some salt. I add a little more water in them. And they're ready. I'm going to get ready to put the final thing that I'm going to put, and I'm going to let them cook another 30 minutes. These are the ham that I cooked. I fried and I put cooked that. I'm going to put, put that in there and all them vegetables that I put in before. And that's what I'm going to put in there. It's a final touch. And I'm going to let this ham season. And what I do that you might not do is I take some of this juice from here and put it in here where my ham was. I know it was that hot. It's going to be that hot. It's going to burn the heck out of it. And I want some of this juice from here to go in my soup. This is what I cook the ham, and I give it that last grating. But be careful, because you sure will get burned. I don't want that much. I just want to season it with this juice. And I'm going to pour it here off camera, because I still sure don't want to get burned. And I'll get back with you all. Thank you all for tuning in to my delicious bean soup cooked from scratch, Navy Boom cooked from scratch. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you tune in to the next one coming soon. Once again, thank you for tuning in to Man's Kitchen and have a wonderful day.